you so much for coming to spend some time with me again today. There are a couple things that I would just like to mention before I get into the video. The first one is I have a new camera, which you're seeing me on right now. So the quality should be on par with my previous videos. However, it has a better autofocus, which is the reason I got it. So I can move and it will follow me and all that good stuff. <laughs> Another thing is that it has a screen so that I can see myself, which is great because it'll just give me peace of mind that you can see what I want you to see. It also gives me the opportunity to do dual uh, or two angles. It allows me to do this. Which is good because I have to switch the camera angle so there's two to make it maybe a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So, as you can see, today I will be reviewing Munch Pack, which is a monthly subscription box. been watching ASMR videos for a while, you probably will recognize it. There have been a few other reviews on Munchpack. Basically, it gives you the opportunity to test out snacks from all around the world, which is great. Um, you get an opportunity to try things that you normally wouldn't have been able to you know, without something like this. So, um, I also want to add that I'm not being paid to give a review or say anything. I had the opportunity to um, share this unboxing with you, and I thought that it would be a fun thing for us to share together. I also will be trying some of the snacks, um, but I will leave that for the very end because I know that some people don't love eating sounds, so. I'm going to leave that until the very end of the video, and I will let you know when I'm going to start. That way, uh, you don't have to watch if you don't want to. I hope that by the time this video comes out, I will have the promo code for a discount off of your first munch pack. If it's not ready or if I don't have it by the time the video comes out, um, just keep checking because it will eventually be linked. <laughs> so this is what the box looks like. And it has this fun smiley face. And when we open it, It reads, Dear Adventure Eater, Here are some brand new snacks we received this week. I tried them myself. 
you're in for a treat. Checked for freshness and neatly packed. That's my forte. I got your back. There are not many like it. Maybe one or two. I made this munch pack just for you. I hope you enjoy. Cheers from Chris. And if you can see it, it has... It's typed, but um, whoever sort of packs your box actually does sign their name in like a sharpie. So, that's really cool. It kind of gives it like a personal, or really gives it a personal touch. And then there is a sort of like a wax or a tissue paper covering all the yummy snacks. And when you take it off, you can see all of the yummy things in there. I'll take this one off because it seems to be covering the rest. But as you can see, they really fill this box. I think in this one there's ten. There are three different sizes that you can get. A mini pack, I think it's just a regular pack, and then a family pack. So each come with um, a different amount of snacks. So the mini pack comes with five plus, so you'll at least get five. The regular pack comes with ten plus, so you'll at least get ten. And I want to say the family pack is fifteen plus, so you'll at least get fifteen. And I believe that there's a section as well for you to say, oh, I don't like nuts, so they won't send you things with nuts. So, that type of thing. I don't think that you can pick exactly the ones that you get every month, but um, there's at least a room for you to say, like, oh, I, you know, I hate nuts or something. Did. The first product that was in the munch pack are these homestyle potato chips in their ketchup flavor. I don't know if we'll be able to find out where each snack is from, since they're from all around the world, but I know that this one, um, for, you know, for a couple of reasons. I know that it is from Canada. Um, one, I just happen to know that ketchup potato chips are huge in Canada. And besides that, everything is also in French. So it says it in English, and then it says it in French right underneath. On the back it says, Covered Bridge Potato Chip Company, Waterville, Carlton, New Brunswick. Or Carlton Company, New Brunswick. I don't know if it's a law um, to have in Canada or everywhere in Canada or certain places to have the French translation of how it's the English is back. Is that on the back? It gives you the nutritional values and facts. The serving size is one bag. I feel like usually, at least here in the US, they'll give you a bag and they'll say, oh, serving size is like half a cup and so then there'll be like three serving sizes in the bag but this one says the serving size is the full bag fun fact is that I 
hate ketchup. <laughs> so, I don't think I'll be trying these. But I really like the material that the bag is made out of. It's very, like, soft. a funny thing to say about a snack. I really don't like the taste, but I love the material of the packaging. I guess for an ASMR history. Okay. Moving on. The next thing I have are these lint indoor truffles. I think that, at least in the U.S., these are fairly common. I know that the chocolate itself is from Sweden, but I believe that this is manufactured in the U.S. Yeah. Streatham, New Hampshire. Not far from where I am. Or Switzerland. Did I say Sweden? <laughs> I meant Switzerland. <laughs> and I believe that these are milk chocolate with white chocolate on the inside. Say. serving size, two truffles, and that's how many are in here, so the entire package is the serving size. I don't know why that's such a big deal for me. I just feel like that doesn't happen all the time. So the next product are these flavor ice taffy chewy bites, and if I'm correct, flavor ice a ice pop. So I assume that these are essentially taffy chews that are flavored and taste like the flavor ice pop. And it says that these are made in China but distributed through Cockeysville, Maryland. So, just in the... Since we've been talking about serving sizes, this bag says the serving size is about 65 grams, and there are 65 grams in here. Guys, I mean, is anybody else? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop because, no, nobody else cares. I'm excited to try these. I think that I would like Starbursts, and this is just a pack of mango. Yes, like Starburst usually comes in assorted, and I don't know if that's an option with high chew. I do wish that this box came with sort of like a like an index of the products in the box. That way, we would have a little 
a little more knowledge about the treats that we're about to eat. This is made in Taiwan, but it says that it is a Japan candy. with hazelnut cream. So this looks delicious. It's going to take like all of my will not to eat it now. And I'm trying to see where this is. I'm trying to see where this is made. Looks like turkey. Made in turkey. And it does have, um, interesting writing on it. There's no way. They're so small. No one won't be able to see it, but they look like, um, like symbols rather than letters, so that's very cool. I'm excited to try that one. These look like like these um, barrels to me, like the toxic waste barrels, and it's oozing with sour slime that looks green. Um, so I don't know if it'll focus, but um, so I think it's supposed to be like a toxic waste barrel, with toxic waste, but. The, the gum is like this big. Really, really big, so. I don't know how great that's gonna be, but we shall see. Um, so, the serving size in this one is one piece, obviously. Let's see, the high chew, because I forgot to go into it, is probably. No. The serving size is one pack, and this is also 10 pieces that are in here. And the Amada chocolate wafers. I can't read it. <laughs> it's in, yeah, no. It's in a language that I can't even begin to try. So I just want to show you, we've already done one, two, three, four, five, six, and I mean, the box still looks full. <laughs> so you really get your money's worth with this box. It would take you all month anyway to finish all this. Are these pizza pretz? 
they look like Pocky to me, if you've ever had that. But maybe like a different, um, like, consistency. And I would assume that these are pretzels. Because <laughs> they're called pretz. And it looks like... Yeah, product of Thailand. Bait snack sticks. And again, the serving size is the whole box. There's like a train and a foot somewhere. So oh, that's not a train. It's a, like a fire truck or something. And a puzzle piece. There's like a ice cream cone shape and a badminton like birdie. So I guess it does hold up to its name. These are like pretty random shapes. And this one does say the servings are per seven sweets. That's what they call them. So per seven gummies are the serving size for this one. And it looks like this is a UK candy. So let me know if you've tried these or if these are something that you enjoy. It says it's made with real fruit juice. These look good. I like gummies, so I'm excited to also excited to see what random shapes I get. Next. I'm really excited for these. Strawberry chocolate crunch crackers. of Korea. flavored snack and the, enjoy the original cheese ball. Looks like Regent is the name of the company or the brand. See that? And made in the Philippines, which is interesting because the other products, if they were um, even like products of Korea or Thailand, 
Looks like they're made in California or somewhere in the US and perhaps distributed to um, Korea or Thailand. Um, but it looks like these are made and distributed both in the Philippines. So that's very cool. And this bag is like really full. I don't know, I feel like I'm used to like buying bags of chips or something and they don't seem to be like chock full. Seems like maybe like right here, but this one, like I can feel the the cheese balls <laughs> up to here. So exciting. So there's one more snack that I forgot was in there and it was hiding, kind of, and it's this lollipop, and it's cool. really good. I'm going to show it here and hopefully it's in focus enough for you to see it. If not, I'll hold it up there as well, but it is the flag inside of it. I don't know if it's like just as edible or made out of sugar or what. I don't know why it's not. Oh yeah. The flag of South Africa. So that is really cool. So I'm gonna save that. I'm not going to eat it because that's really cool. Also, my heat just came on and I'm really sorry, but my daughter is napping and she's sick, so I can't turn the heat off. <laughs> um, that would be a terrible mother decision of me to make, but um, hopefully it'll go off in a second. Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Either way, we are at the end of the video. So I'm going to try a few of these that I think might be good um, ASMR eating sounds. So just a fair warning, if you don't like eating sounds from here on out, we'll be eating sounds. Okay. <laughs> um, because I'm super excited... I'm gonna try a cheese ball. <laughs> I forgot to bring scissors, so it's just real loud in here. <laughs> anyway, I just pulled a little piece off. This is what they look like, just little cheese balls. They're very powdery. Yep. They're cheese balls. <laughs> mm. They're really good. I will be eating these. They're maybe a little bit more like artificially flavored than I would have liked. But they're really good. And I'm gonna finish. If you insist. Okay. Get all that cheese off. Um, let's stick with salty or savory things for right now. the pretz, the pizza pretz. This is open here. Oh, there's like a pull tab. So that's how it opens. I'm supposed to keep that in there, but just for the sake of time, I'm going to take it out. Okay. 
There's a lot of pretzels in here. Like 20 or 25 for sure. So this is what it looks like. Holy moly. It tastes exactly like a pizza. <gasps> it tastes like fresh tomato. Like fresh. How do they do that? I'm gonna do one more. That's amazing. And I can taste the crust. That's so crazy. Okay, I think that's it for the salty things I'm going to try because I'm not going to eat the ketchup chips because I hate ketchup. <laughs> so, I'm going to do the random because I think it's like a different sound than what I've been... Those two are crunchy. So, I'm just going to drop one out. Oh, it's a dog! Cute! I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Really cute, though. It's like a little orange dog. Wow, these really smell like fruity. And then this one's a little clock, but on the other side it has like a solid white. They're really good. Sorry, puppy. <laughs> so just for the sake of them being random, let's get one more. So this is the same. It's like orange with white on the other side, but this one is a smile. Yeah, and I'm sorry. These are the strawberry chocolate choco puff bars. Oh, wow. So they come individually wrapped. So I guess they're pretty big. I was kind of expecting like tiny little wafers. what it looks like to me. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna love this. I can already tell. So 
so it's really good but it smells stronger than it tastes don't chew with my mouth open, by the way. I just feel like it would be a better sound. my favorite so far. Those are so good. Okay, so the last thing that I'm gonna try, because I feel like I should after saying all the stuff about it, are these goo gum pieces. And I'm a little nervous. really big, right? Like for a piece of gum. And it definitely smells sour already. I mean, it looks sour because it's like neon yellow. Let's see. Okay. I don't mind sour things. I like like Sour Patch Kids and I liked Warheads when I was younger, so let's see. See like the green goo. It's so sour, but it tastes really good. I wouldn't be able to chew this for a long time because it's actually like very soft in your mouth I do start chewing on it and I just feel like I'm gonna swallow it but mm. it's actually pretty good <laughs> thank you so much for watching and joining me in opening my munch pack like I said I will link the um, website in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. I highly, highly recommend this subscription box if you like to snack. Everything was really good that I tried and you get so much for your money. It's not like they tell you, oh, we give you at least five and they give you like five and every now and then you get six. This was a mini pack, so you get at least five and there was ten in here, so it's very, very exciting, especially to get something every month delivered to you, especially of such great quality. And that gives you an opportunity to try things that you haven't before. So I hope that you enjoyed the crinkles and the tapping and the eating if you liked that. And I will see you soon. Have a very peaceful
over here as well. Any discomfort at all? 